So back home, there's this chair that I used to sit in for hours. I mean, I would look across the street, grab candy, look at people, and sit in this chair. I would bring my friends and talk for hours, maybe play games. We would laugh, and I would expect the night to be perfect. <laughs> so lately, I've been missing my chair, and understandably so, because it's my first semester on campus, and all I can think about is how is there's not one seat here that allows any student to sit down and be comfortable because there's always a looming threat of work due or academia or bomb threats and it stresses you out because you want a seat where you can be by yourself and enjoy your time there. So we're we could explore all different parts of the city and find comically large chairs. And so I found the first one on my list, the big chair in Anacosta. And this chair is comically large, fitting that criteria. But it does not have the safeness of being able to sit and bring your friends and chat because this chair is just a monument. So I found new things about the city. I found out what the city values and who the city values, the people that make up the city. And so I appreciated everything that I learned from that part of the city, but I needed to find my chair. So I'm riding the bus. You know, what I love about bus rides is that you can sit and talk with the bus driver. So I'm chatting with him and he says, oh, have you checked in Duke Ellington? So the Duke Ellington High School. And so there's this big chair. And I didn't know what I was expecting, but it's almost exactly like my chair. And I absolutely love it, except for the part where there's police tape around it. So I can't sit at it, but it is in Georgetown. And so I decided this isn't my chair. It just isn't. So I go looking and I go looking some more and I found the only chair that is just as comically large. And I may be able to visit and bring fam friends and family too. But it's occupied, of course, by Abraham Lincoln himself. So I kept looking, and what I discovered in the National Mall was better than any singular chair I could find to sit in for myself. This was a sculpture garden, and it was decorated from Valentine's Day. It had reminders to spread love daily and to choose love, and I loved it. And it even had a little gnome named Leroy. So I realized that this was the place for me and my friends. This could become my chair.